Afternoon everybody, myself and Neil are out this afternoon. We're going to be hanging around the area around Kokomoya Dam up towards Skybed. See what we can find, check those open clearings, maybe get lucky with the copies, but just see what's happening in the north. We haven't been up in the north for some time, so let's check. What a super relaxed bull elephant. Totally relaxed with us standing next to the car moving off. We haven't showed anyone a male lion for quite some time since the Evoca mail. So we decided to come north. We're just to the south of Kokomoya Dam. We found our reliable open male. He's lying a little bit further south of the dam because the females moved her den into this thicket over here which is south of the dam. You can see a lot of uh, female tracks and cub tracks around here and this male's lying here. So hopefully the female will come out. But it's just nice to see this big beautiful open male. He's looking great, looking well fed, got a full belly. We're going to leave this beautiful open mail. We might come back on our way home, maybe get him roaring. But let's head up towards Skybeds. We haven't been up to Skybeds for a long time. So we're going to leave him, go up through those gabras and basalts, up to Skybeds, and then come back past here. Maybe get him roaring, maybe get his brother or the rest of the pride. Sitting up on this dead tree, the largest raptor that we get in the whole of Kruger region. Leopard face vulture. Got a wingspan of about 2.8 meters when they're fully grown. Massive bird. Near the black headed oriole alarm calling for him. That screeching noise. Very far off in the distance there we got some secretary birds. Very good spot by Alistair. Of them there, they'll walk these open plains hunting rodents, snakes, other reptiles. They usually nest in a tree up here, so I'm sure it's almost time for nesting season again, so that's probably why they're back here. We're up around Skybeds, and we see a lot of hyena activity, vulture activity and jackals. Could mean that there's a carcass or something around here. Maybe something was killed. I'm gonna go in and have a look. Managed to find some more hyenas on the side of the dam and 
there's a wildebeest carcass in the water. So, I don't know what killed it, but there's hyenas around at the moment and vultures. So we'll go in for a closer look. We just don't want to disturb the hyenas or the vultures. Another young hyena came into the fray there and showing submission to the larger adult female. Young Ahidin is frightening himself. There are crocodiles in the water, so they are a little bit nervous. You'll see the hyenas just defecated some scat and the hooded vultures are straight in. Like we're talking about the lions that follow the lions to eat the lion scat. They've done just that with hyena scat. There's obviously a lot of blood in that scat and that's where those hooded vultures have gone straight for. I think the hyena's biggest challenge at the moment will be the crocodiles in the water here. You can still see they're a little bit wary. 
Um, there's obviously the threat of lions and hyenas that could also pose a problem for them. But uh, their biggest challenge right now I think is to get this carcass out the water. You can especially see with the youngsters, they're very keen to get this carcass out. They don't trust the crocodiles. The power of that female hyena is incredible. Now you see the real work the hyena's jaws do. I mean this carcass looks like it's been in the water for some time. And they're tearing straight through that hide. It's been soaked in water for a couple of days. No problem. That's what's making all the noise above us, these buffalo weaver birds. Busy reconstructing their nests. Don't you see the different clan or pack hierarchy? Those two that are in the background there have just been chased away by the female. So you can see that maybe they're low ranking females or even males that have virtually no rank. That female has chased them right away. We're sitting here at Skybreeds. Neil's just picked up a dehorned rhino that's come to drink at the water. Behind us there's about 15 elephants that are drinking. To the left of us there's about 11 hippos which you can hear calling. Fish eagles landing. There's a large crocodile just in front of me. 
And then obviously this incredible scene of these hyenas squabbling over a wildebeest.